In the last hour or so, we've had uh, some audio drop from an interview Joe Biden did during that swing uh, visit to the swing state of Nevada uh, that was abruptly stopped because of that COVID diagnosis. And as you'll hear in this excerpt from uh, the president's interview with Univision Radio, Mr Biden sounds very ropey indeed. I had a terrible night on the debate night. I was... Uh, I had been exhausted. I had been traveling around the world. I wasn't ready. And I, I performed terribly. And so people are now saying, well, that was only one thing. But <clears throat> he's 81 years old. What happens when he's 84 years old? <laughs> what happens <laughs> excuse me, when he's 85 years old? I was smart enough to know, uh, with age comes wisdom. I know the difference between the truth and lies. I know the difference between good and bad. I know the difference between what has to be done. Yeah, Joe Biden there. That interview recorded, as I said, during that visit to Nevada, sometime before the president was officially diagnosed with COVID. Mr Biden, as we speak, is still recovering from COVID at his Delaware home. Uh, the White House doctor assuring Americans today that the president has no fever. He's otherwise well, but just has some respiratory systems. But, uh, gee, that momentum within the party is building up to a, a seemingly unstoppable conclusion. And that conclusion might happen as early as the weekend. And that conclusion, according to most Democratic uh, Party operatives, is Joe Biden pulling out mm -hmm. of the presidential race. Let's bring in ABC political lead now and host of Insiders, David Spears. David, just reading uh, some breaking news from New York Times mm -hmm. saying people close to Joe Biden say he appears to accept he may have to leave the race. So it seems like the cards are falling very quickly. Yeah, I just saw that report uh, before joining you, uh, Bridget, from the New York Times, that he appears now to accept he may have to go, that reality is setting in. I mean, Michael's right, this seems unstoppable. It seems to be heading in a very obvious direction. And when you have that list of names, Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer and so on. I mean, they're, they're not out there denying these reports and some of them, Chuck Schumer, are saying this very openly and publicly as well. You know, it, it does have a sense of inevitability about it. You listen to that bit of tape that Michael just played as well and, I mean, it's, it's a really sad way to go in, in many respects. When the decision or announcement comes is unclear maybe this weekend, but clearly the expectation is when you look at what people are saying, when you look at the polls too, uh, that show that the Democratic voters um, and the party faithful are no longer of the view that he can win this. You know, this shows that it's beyond what Biden himself only weeks ago was saying, it's just the uh, elites, the elite influences in the party. It's, it's the, the rank and file as well. And it's the concern here about the down ballot impact, as they say, the, the fact that they might lose the House, that this might affect state um, uh, uh, contests as well. And really, affect the Democrats far beyond just who's in the White House, but their ability to stop a future President Trump or return President Trump implementing whatever he wants. Uh, so this is the, 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 the position being put to Biden at the moment. Yes, he's in a very weakened state physically, politically. Um, and as I say, the inevitability around this seems pretty clear now.